What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and this is your daily vibe. So if this blesses you today, be sure that you bless someone else and share this with them. If you are feeling generous, feel free to show me some love in my cash app. And if you are desiring to get a reading, if you like some insight going into this new year or to end your year, right now we are having a 33% discount on all the readings. So check it out in the link in my bio or at the website from wherever it is that you are watching this. So, hey y'all, it's Thursday. Thursdays are ruled by Jupiter. Very expansive, fun, adventurous energy, but also a lot of, but also a lot of learning, a lot of, insight whether that is from others or you just coming to these conclusions yourself jupiter rules sagittarius and the sun is currently in sagittarius so these both both of these energies are about culture you know it's about truth your truth your philosophies that you have gathered from all of the wisdom that you've attained over the time it is that you've been spending on your journey, on your path, you know. This is also about foreigners. It is an energy of, also sort of a energy when it comes to wounding, right? Because Sagittarius is uh, the centaur. And centaurs, Chiron, who is the wounded healer, he was a centaur. So it, it kind of, holds this similar energy right because we get into this space of when it comes to our beliefs and if they resonate with the life that we want the life that we have the life that we're living and all of those things so let's see jupiter right now is in Capric in capricorn still it will be moving into aquarius on the 21st i believe and which is when the seasons change as well. So it's in a conjunction right now with Saturn. So with this energy, we may be still recognizing, seeing, applying what, what we need to do to kind of shift around the structure surrounding our beliefs, the surrounding beliefs, especially when it comes to the culture it is that we come from, that we live in, the beliefs it has that has to do with the structures it is that we were kind of that we were raised on that we've built for ourselves that have to do with the structures surrounding us right this is also an expansive energy it, it doesn't operate in its most expansiveness in its most benevolence in capricorn because capricorn is really requiring getting things done in order to attain meet the goals you know but it still works really well because that jupiterian knowledge that higher mind that that spiritual nature that capricorn is sometimes lacking is lended to this in really bringing that that spirit together with the body with the the grounding of things the having of things all right, so not separating these two. With it being in this conjunction with Saturn, this is creating more restriction. Capricorn brings restriction. This creates more restriction, right? Because it's about Saturn is considered the grandfather in Vedic astrology is considered a servant, right? It is in, in one astrology system is considered the boss. Right, but bosses are pretty much servants, right? They they create, they build for others to have jobs, they hold space for others to have jobs, they offer the guidance for others in job settings, right? They kind of set the standard, the tone. Similar, you know, in the a servant, you know, sets the tone for those that they are serving. They come in and bring forth what it is that would not be able to be attained on your own in a sense you can attain the thing by yourself but with help that is much more supportive you know so and jupiter is 
also in a it's kind of in conflict with our emotions because the moon right now is still in libra um it will be in scorpio by the end of the day so this conflict that's happening here it it's or these challenges the, the where it is that we feel like we're being stifled or or pushed on the back burner or just having some type of blockage with a thing or perhaps this is also showing you where you have grown but if there are any challenges that are coming up any blockages or any setbacks we when the moon goes into scorpio then we see the deeper aspect of why it is this is happening. And we then have the ability to kind of rearrange things, uh, change things, bring some correction and transformation to the issue at hand. We are we able to recognize what work needs to be done. All right. So with, um, let me see. So now we're going to get into talking about the moon. Let me make sure Jupiter is not just not an aspect in with any other planet right now. It does have a a five degree conjunction with Pluto, so that is also bringing about any type of transformations, revelations in regards to where it is that we still need to put some effort to, how it is that what steps that we need to continue to take in order to, I guess we could say prosper in a sense, that we can manifest through and really move through those fears, those, those things that kind of hold us back in a way that is, that we're unaware of, right? So this, this brings things to light on a very grounded level that allows us to continue establishing what it is that we're going after, even if we have to begin doing it in a different way. So the moon is still in Libra today, right now. I'm recording this video. This is Thursday, December 10th. If I didn't say that, it is about one o'clock here where I am in Texas. And the moon is at 25 degrees Libra. So we are really, you know, in a sense, desiring to manifest something, especially in regards to work matters, right? With this, this Libra and Capricorn energy, that's, that's about work, right? Bringing balance to this, finding resolve, finding peace in what it is that we are desiring to establish. <laughs> um, <laughs> desiring to establish wow wow i just got this message y'all that is fits so much into what it is that i'm talking about right here in this moment so this is also showing us where we have grown where it is that we have gained the capacity to hold space for what it is that we desire for what it is that we want in our lives what it is that we are desiring to manifest and it's a it's a good time to act on those things so with libra is also in this um in this tense energy with with pluto as well so things are being illuminated to be able to see where it is that we have been blocked and being able to call in what it is that we want of course with all this energy in capricorn it also wants us to take our time and that may be what we're realizing today like oh i just needed to wait divine timing timing is everything and that's what capricorn is about it's about timing you know whether that is the perfect time whether that is taking the steps of time time is running out or that time is infinite and in, in, infinite and limitless capricorn represents all aspects of that time you know so along with that the moon let's push the time up <laughs> to see 
what else we can expect throughout the day. Yeah, so once the moon goes into uh, Scorpio, we'll be able, we'll begin to be able to see through the darkness, through the shadows, you know, through the light is starting, is beginning to come clear when in regards to this kind of dark energy, because Capricorn is a dark state. You know, it, it's the winter time, it's the time of rest, it's the time of darkness, you know, and Scorpio comes through and like, let's dig this up. Like, we need to see what's going on here because we want better. We want to transform, you know, it's a fixed sign. Fixed signs are the signs of, we could say royalty. Libra, I mean, Leo is the royal king queen but the fixed sign they they kind of set the standard of things so once the moon in scorpio goes into scorpio this evening we'll be able on our own to see what it is that needs to transform within us in order to meet our needs uh meet our desires at the other end and it's not about making ends meet it's about transformation in a way of manifestation, you know, and really being able to bring about those things through, through diving, through recognizing, through moving through the fear, moving through the power struggles, recognizing that the power struggles that have been going on outside of us can be corrected through transformation within us, you know, in seeing things from a clearer perspective and being devoted, right, to our cause, whatever it is that that may be, and not, um, not allowing the external to deter what it is that's going on internally and coming out on top in a sense right because we when when the moon goes into scorpio that that effortless flow of being able to move through something that's going to happen and it's going to bring about i i'm feeling like something that we were not expecting whether that is on a um a public scale a large view scale or in our personal lives so let me see yes yeah, so that is all for the astrology today And I want to talk about something really quick as far as Jupiter being the ruler of Sagittarius and the sun being there. So this is us with the sun being in Sagittarius. This is us really being able to activate our confidence in continuing to move forward and moving through everything, those old beliefs, those those old senses i guess i should could say of ourself that has been in a sense not allowing us to move forward at the speed it is that we want to right because the sun it, being in, in sagittarius it wants to go quick but the jupiter the ruler sagittarius and capricorn so it's like it, it's almost like a win-win in a sense you know because it wants to go quickly. So it's kind of like a win-win basically, you know, wanting to quickly move through a thing, but your your Lord is like, let's take our time. Let's think this through a little bit more. Let's continue to take these steps that way that this can be pre built on practicality and not uh, on a scattered kind of energy that may not be long lasting that may have us and not long lasting because that it wasn't it's not good but long lasting simply because some details were missed that need to be covered in order for a thing to be lasting right because 
we kind of live in this time where it's just okay to throw a, a thing away and it's just like well yeah things do change but everything does not have to be thrown out <laughs> let's work with it first before see if we covered all our bases you know so let's see what spirit has for us today of December 10th, 2020 for our daily insight guidance spirit what do you have for us today Wow, okay. So, <laughs> wow. Yes, it's all about putting in the efforts, right? Because we got the Knight of Pentacles. So, this is about routines, doing thing in a, things in a practical manner, taking your time, you know, not needing to rush through anything, being okay with the idea, the fact that it takes in order to attain mastery we must put in the efforts the work of our so taking time to ground your energy so that you can move forward and really be able to move in this is the type of energy that supports you in being able to see how things have been relating to another thing you know and it's also i'm, I'm feeling like that maybe some of us have been a uh, lack, there has been a lack of motivation, some type of carelessness in a sense, like a need to be present with what it is that you're doing, be more active in into the thing that you're doing, be more into the manifesting of yourself, of the idea of the family, of the what's being built so pinnacles always bring me back to needing to connect with spirit and to support you in a way that is going to help you get grounded right connecting possibly with your ancestors and y'all was sure wild today okay <laughs> so also, you know, taking the time, being okay with being patient with the work it is that has to be put in in order to make a thing manifest. Focus on the mastery that has to be done with yourself and also be open to the abundance that's coming in for you as well. Although you're putting in the work like you want to do it in a way that is according what it is that's to come from the efforts it is that you're putting in so that is something to sit with today if needed somebody really needs to have a routine you know really have a sense of structure of things And having that routine is going to support you in moving forward. Like, okay, I have to do this. This needs to be done so I can take my time. I can do what it is I need to do. And what it is that I need to do after this is going to get done as well. Right. So answer the call. What is your, what are you, what is your call, soul calling you to do? What is it that needs to be done how is it that you need to step up and you know take care in your life what steps do you need to take what are you trying to avoid doing in trying to get to the other side you know you the steps the steps are important you can't do one thing without the other you can't attain a thing without doing something to either get it started or planning you know maybe some of you need to plan you know get a little again more structured that way you can answer this call answer what it is that is desiring to come about in your life
the shower's little energy got me turned up. <laughs> so I got a the five stack. Down a little bit. Spirit, what else is here for us? Today, what else is here for us? Don't take so much time daydreaming. I'm looking at this answer as a call. So it's almost as if that maybe you've been fantasizing about what it is that you want to do. Like saying, okay, I'm going to do this and haven't done it yet. Needing to take the steps. Needing to do what is necessary, basically, in order for things to come about for you in the way that you are wanting what it is that you are seeing for your life for your future you're feeling it it's something going on already and it's almost as if you're ignoring it heart of sky so oh heart of sky i don't pull that card often i'm gonna read the book for this one for you guys no, it does talk about heart-based movement, right? So it says the heart of sky is a love force that made all creation possible. This is the same force. This same force is present when you create with originality, when you bring formless to form or inspired ideas to expression. This prim what is this word? This primeval, primeval force does not know good or bad it is up to us to provide the clear intention that will guide it to manifest the heart of sky helps us call in beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world of matter okay so the invitation says the heart of sky brings you a sacred reminder you are a channel for the original energy of creation become the paintbrush the canvas the artist and guide and all guided by the heart of sky set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details the medicine here says you may feel responsible for everything and everyone perhaps perhaps you think you need to do it all alone this is this takes you into a dark hole where you lose trust in natural order of the cosmos share your lofty sense of duty and recognize that this is a false prison of your own making you can open the door and set yourself free in an instant so for one, this is asking you, right, to go ahead and begin this if you have not been. If your focus has been, maybe you need to expand your focus because I know with Pinnacles sometimes, or most of the time, it is being focused on one particular thing happening, right? But it's almost as if you need to learn to expand stay stay of jupiter your belief on what is possible what it is that you can do and know that you are able to take this and make this happen right so it's almost like you need to step up and become this leader in your life in a sense stop allowing the outside to affect the way that you go about doing things handling things and know that you are capable that it is possible for you to make it happen and for those who are already in the space of making it happen if there's something else that needs to be done at this time it's time for you to do that you know it's time for you to add any type of extras that need to be added or maybe it's time to let something go that is conflicting what needs to be done for you to be able to continue forward on the path. <laughs> yeah. The beaver says, do your chores, right? So take care of whatever it is that needs to be taken care of. This again speaks to me of needing a routine, needing some, uh, some structure in the way in which it is that you've been going about take trying to handle a thing because when you don't have the structure it kind of keeps you in this kind of 
lethargic place of feeling like that you don't have enough time or feeling unmotivated, right? Because you're, you're not giving to yourself in the way that is most beneficial for you. Everybody's routine is going to look different, you know, because we all need different things. We all need different ways of going about something. So it's important that we figure out what that is, what works best for us. So do your chores, take care of what it is that needs to be taken care of so that things can flow in a way that it's going to best serve you. What is it that you need to do? What What is it that you need to do? Listen to your intuition. Let that guide you in a way that is going to support you in making the choices and the decisions that, you know, need to be made for yourself, for your life. What else is here? First house. So this is something about the way it is that you have been going, that you've been going about relating to yourself. This, it, it, feel, it really feels like that some type of connection to spirit is needed here. If that is not already here, also recognize what it is that you've been identifying with after all this time. Maybe something needs to change about that. Maybe you need to put more focus in an area that you have not been focusing on really and not take your focus away from the things that you have already been focused on, but it's time to kind of integrate everything else, you know, because up until this point it's, maybe you've just really been focused on one thing, one way of going to do a thing, you know, and it's almost like you've been missing what it is that needs to be done. You have everything you need available to you, you know, maybe you need to ask for help. That's what it's feeling like as well. Who can you, who can you call on to help you? So we have the anchor. The anchor talks about success. You know, it also feeds, this is also an energy of love, right? But it's also an energy of business. So it seems like these two things coming together, can you call on someone who you love to help you make something happen in your life? Can you not, are, are you willing to expand your reach? Are you willing to expand your perception of making things happen for yourself for your life so 28 of 10 so that's a with the wheel of fortune it's time to you know let the wheel turn in your favor so that you can be supported in making something happen making getting back on your road on your phone what is this yes because we got the ship so <laughs> It's definitely time to to shift a little bit. This is also speaking of things coming your way, you know, um, whether that is finances, wealth, health, all of those things coming forward. You have a lot of successful energy here supporting you and being able to capture your enterprise in a sense, root and ground down into it and make it happen, you know, and attain that fulfillment. But it's almost like you need to recognize what it is, kind of where it is that you've kind of been deceiving yourself of what else needs to be done in a sense. Maybe you've been feeling like you don't have everything you need to get started, right? And, or just to continue forward, but you have everything you need. Everything is present. Uh, it's, it's already here. It's all in a matter of recognizing that it's already here, you know, and, and taking the time to do that. Well, how have you been identifying with yourself How have you been identifying with what it is that you need to do in your capability in doing that thing?
discipline is called for. The affirmation card is joy to so I you got the heart of the sky here and joy, right? So maybe you need to find a little bit more happiness, a little bit more fulfillment in what it is that you have to do and that you have to take care of. You know, it's okay to, we will sometimes feel like something is a drudgery unless we figure out a way to enjoy it. So can you enjoy what it is that is yours to do? What call do you need to answer? What do you need to take care of? What needs to happen here in order for you to be able to succeed? Joy says, to enjoy something, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything and it'll make it way better. Today, I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on today. Today, I'm over <laughs> Orville Red and Bacher of joy. And life's popcorn is about to get it. So definitely take some time to see where it is that you have been in this space of almost lethargy, carelessness, lack of motivation, right? Out of seeing these things as a drudgery and do that thing, you know? Recognize where it is that you have been identifying yourself as not being capable or having what it is that you need in order to take care of it. And maybe that's simply where your joy is missing, that you feel that you don't have all the things that you need, but you do. It, it, it says it here, you know, it's just a matter of recognizing where it is that you have been missing what it is that where is you, where has the fog been over your eyes right because neptune is direct now but it's still a little foggy there where have you been imprisoning yourself of feeling like a victim where have you been victimizing yourself you know where have you been feeling like you need to sacrifice yourself in a way that you can't take care of everything else that you need to take care of and maybe you just need a little bit of joy a little bit of butter makes it better you know so because you have as soon as you shift the energy the what you thought was not possible will be coming to light so i feel like when the moon transitions into scorpio some things may be coming up in a sense that you will kind of realize like oh wow i have been misleading myself here and here is where i can make this a little bit more fun for everybody, you know? So, okay, you guys, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful Thursday. The week is almost over, so let that bring you some joy if that is how you need to tap into it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All my love, so many blessings. Bye.